Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Dale. Welcome back to this AWS machine learning series. In the last lessons, we just created a Lambda functions handlers and that will help us to take in the input from the event objects and then help us to invoke the endpoint that is our SageMaker endpoint and also uh, appends all these results and returns the results to the client. So what we're going to do in this lesson is to set up the Lambda functions and then we will, we will copy and paste this handler into that functions. And this handler, just like what I mentioned, it will help us to take care of the input as well as the output. So first thing first, we need to move on to the AWS manage, management console and then let's go to the Lambda page. Once we are in, you will probably see this dashboard and or it will directly guide you to the functions page. In this function page, that just ignore this um, ignore these functions. That is what we've created for these uh, projects. So let's build this from scratch. And what we need, what you need to do is to click on the create function. So inside this uh, create function page, you can choose one of the following options to create your functions. And in our case, we will choose these options offer from scratch. And then we provide a function name, say my function to this, um, to these functions. So this is the function name. And then for the runtime, just like what I mentioned before, there are different types of language that can be used with these, uh, Lambda functions for the, for our example, we are going to use Python. And of course you can pick any other language or any other versions that fits your own project. And the architecture that we will use, uh, we will just use the default architecture. And for the permissions here, you can use an existing role or create a new role to your basic Lambda for your basic Lambda permissions. So for illustrative purpose, we will create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. And once we create this role, we can go to the IAM consoles to take a look on these permissions or and add policies into this uh, role. So let's create this function. So we have successfully created the functions, my functions. And remember that we need to invoke the uh, SageMaker endpoint. So we need to give a role and policy for these Lambda functions to access the uh, SageMaker endpoint. So let's move on to the IAM console. Once you are in this IAM console, you can click on the roles. And we've already created a role for our Lambda functions. Now let's click into it. At this point, we do not have any SageMaker policies that allow us to have uh, access to this endpoint with the use of these Lambda functions. So we need to add permissions at the policy. So we would like to attach a policy so click on it and then just type the uh, sage maker let's see if it can find me the sage maker i want to use this policy that is the full access to it and then just attach this policy with our lambda functions so now the policy has been successfully to attach it to this row and this rows from the Lambda function. So now 
my lambda function have a uh, full access to the SageMaker. And now let's go back to the lambda function. So this is the lambda functions handler that we have at this point. Uh, so what we're going to do is to remove it and then just copy and paste these lambda functions handlers that we created in previous video into this uh, code source area. And now we can deploy our Lambda functions and then set up a test for it. So let's say if we have the, this data and this is a test event so let's click on the test. Excellent. The execution has been successfully done. So let's get back to the code and take a look on the execution result. And these are the response, which is exactly the same as what we've done in the SageMaker's notebook. So we have just successfully created these Lambda functions to help us to take the JSON input and then, uh, and then serialize the input and invoke the SageMaker endpoint and finally return the response. And in the next lessons, what we're going to do is to trigger a SNS service. And we will learn how to send the results uh, in the emails with the use of the SNS um, service. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.